something up. If you need medical care but have concerns about how much things cost, we know even just getting seen by a doctor very expensive these days. Well, now is a chance for you to score free help from a clinic in Phoenix. Yeah, a pretty incredible opportunity. So volunteers from across the country are coming right here to offer their medical support. And it starts tomorrow, and this will be open to the public, and it is first come, first serve basis. So Dr. Leela Lewis, president and CEO of Liberty and Health Alliance, joins us live from the Phoenix Convention Center to talk to us about this event that takes place tomorrow. What should our viewers know? Well, hi guys, happy 4th of July, first of all. Yes, we are so excited. Tomorrow at 7 a.m., first come, first serve, we're gonna be able to serve the Phoenicians. I am a Phoenician myself. Be able to serve Phoenicians with free medical, dental, vision, and even surgical procedures right here on the Phoenix Convention floor. It's gonna be exciting. Dr. Lewis, we're seeing so much happening behind you. Uh, pretty much a makeshift hospital. How are you guys able to do all <laughs> this? Right. Well, we're 100% volunteer organization. These volunteers literally come from all over the country to come in to provide services. And there are many non-medical. In fact, 80% of the volunteers are non-medical. They do everything from walking patients to locations. We have a children's department. We actually provide everyone a free meal as well. So the, the endless opportunities for volunteers. What are some of the things that uh, people can uh, expect to uh, have done for them when they go out there. We have a list on our screen here, but if you can tell us some of the services, that'd be great. Ab absolutely. So our dental department is very comprehensive. We have not only fillings, extractions, cleanings, but our dentists, again, on a first-come, first-served basis, are able to do crowns, root canals. So there's a really op great opportunity. Again, because dental expenses tend to be a little on the higher side, and oftentimes people don't have dental insurance, that's a really great opportunity. Our vision care department, full refractions, in other words, eye examinations and free glasses to the people that come. And then our medical department is huge. We have a women's health department, obviously primary care. We have a full pharmacy where you can get up to 30 to 60 days of free medications and our laboratory services. And then our surgery department is spectacular. We have a hand surgeon who will be doing carpal tunnel releases wow. and trigger finger releases. And then we have a plastic surgeon coming in as well. And wow. we have echocardiogram, radiology, the list goes on and on and on. All right, so it for those people who are really sorry. Really is incredible, yeah. gosh. So for people who are gonna go there, is there like a limit in terms of how many people you're gonna take? Or is there like a, a cutoff for the time that people need to get there by? So we recommend people come early. I've been doing this since 2014. I've run these organizations for quite a while. People regularly come out. They actually camp out the night before. So we recommend people come early. And yes, we are limited by the number of volunteers. By the way, if there's anyone watching right now that would still like to volunteer, particularly providers, we really could use you. Arizona licensed providers tomorrow, we could definitely use you because every provider increases the number of patients we're able to serve. So yes, we will notify the patients as soon as we know how many providers we have and how many patients we can see in each department, we will let them know that that particular department is closed. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. So again, this is happening at the convention center. It's, uh, it's, it's south, right? The south building where you guys are at, just to clarify for everybody? Yes, the, yes. Yes, it's the South Hall. Please don't get confused between the North Hall of the Convention Center and the South Hall. We are in the South Hall. And because it is kind of warm out these mm -hmm. days, we will be queuing the patients up inside the building and providing them water, et cetera. Wonderful. We don't want anybody having any heat strokes out here. Wonderful. Dr. Lewis, thank you so much for what you guys are doing. Um, just incredible. And I know a lot of people are probably saying, wait, we need more information yes. on this. We're going to put everything on azfamily.com so you can get any answers, uh, questions answered there. But uh, this all begins tomorrow, runs through Friday. Thank you so much for what you guys are doing and all the volunteers there, Absolutely. Dr. Lewis. Thank you. Thank you.